Hi guys, welcome to the new video. If you are a new subscriber, upload every day video, it's gonna help my channel. I just finished watching Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 1, Episode 4, and I wanna share my thoughts, what I think about the episode, and do a quick recap. So, without spoilers, overall, it was great, in my opinion. One of the best episodes so far. 8 out of 10. Of course, beautiful shots, yes. The storytelling, it wasn't that boring like in the previous one, in my opinion. We have some action scenes in this one. And basically the story is progressing and to be honest I get a feeling like this whole series and this season is basically like one big movie okay it's every episode just pick up you know when the previous finish yes so I like this idea like yeah you're just waiting for another continuation basically yes uh, of this story so let me jump into the spoiler section it was great in my opinion basically the episode start like this owner yes of the city this cleopatra <laughs> woman like she looks like cleopatra from this numenor or whatever city yes this she got basically a vision like this and it was beautiful visually come on we must appreciate good cgi on this channel basically this water just destroyed this city yes and was very beautiful she had like she got the vision of course she was sleeping or whatever and basically uh progressing her story yes this owner of the city basically just galadriel just came to her uh, and asked yes for a fucking help like hey you're gonna help me fight the evil uh, on middle earth basically because there are sauron whatever and just stay with me and fight yes together whatever it was good dialogue she just came with this dude yes with this that of isildur right here with this guy to this owner and of course the owner of the city she was like no fuck you just get out of my city and the galadriel is basically she was a little bit bitch and i like this a little bit approach but at the same time it a little bit stupid because basically galadriel is like i don't know 100 years old yes or thousand years old couple hundreds years old she's not young but she she's basically behaving like she's young maybe she don't have basically uh how to say experience yes to talk with some kings and queens but whatever she was basically i want to talk with your father and the owner of the city this cleopatra i'm gonna call her just say to her no fuck you just go to prison and i like this transition like no you're not gonna you know talk to my father and just translate to her lock out basically in the prison cell so that was good transition it was funny and basically progressing the girl here and this owner of the city yes this story uh, basically she was talking to this aragorn 2.0 yes and my prediction this aragorn gonna be basically this bad guy uh, who gonna have the rings yes one ring of power basically whatever so basically you know the she was talking to this guy and she, this guy just figure out like hey uh, you must figure out why she locked you out and Galdier just figure out like I'm just asked to visit her father okay this is interesting so basically the guard just came and just decided to basically just you're gonna go to your city yes to the middle of earth and we're gonna escort you and she she just kick <laughs> ass of the guards it was a little bit stupid behind the scenes yes we don't saw too much of fighting of her the guards and basically this owner yes this advisor of the city it was like i should stop her <laughs> and uh, he, he basically don't stop her yes she was thinking out to the fucking palace where the that of this cleopatra yes was on this fucking numenor or whatever the city is called and basically she just sneak out and just saw this cleopatra with his dad yes you saw the episode it was beautiful scenery i like the dress to be honest i'm gonna be honest I like the dress it looks very beautiful on guardio yes this kind of blue dress it's so beautiful whatever basically she just sneak out she just saw like her dad is dying yes and uh, sick laying on the bed and they have basically the conversation like hey uh, keep it secret and dad will just say okay why you don't like elves basically yes because your dad is all about elves and he is dying but you're not yes this kind of situation and we got more exposition like basically they just came to this tower and they just have this kind of ball 
that you can see from Lord of the Rings. And I like like they explore those kind of artifacts, if that makes sense. Yes, basically this ball that you can see what is going on in a different place. So this is interesting. And basically she just touched this ball and just saw the vision like this Numenor gonna be destroyed by the fucking ocean. And I think it's gonna happen. Okay, the city gonna be destroyed. But basically she just saw and she was like, hey, that's why basically I'm not helping you because you're going to bring, you know, destruction to the city, whatever. And she was, that was very good dialogue when Galadriel just asked her, stand by me and fight together, whatever. It was good written, okay? The, the idea was like, be with me and fight evil, yes? And this owner just say, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be with you. Basically, we got the scene like Galadriel just selling out, yes, on the ship. It was beautiful. I love the scenery. Come on, guys. We must appreciate good CGI. I get it. You know, they don't basically respect the Tolkien's work, work or whatever, but you must appreciate good CGI. Don't tell me this is 2 or 3 out of 10 or maybe 4 out of 10. Come on. This is one of the best CGI uh, right now on the series. This is better than House of the Dragon, the CGI. So basically she was selling out, yes, on this water, on the ship. And this owner of the city, this Cleopatra, just saw, basically, yes, and we got exposition like this tree is basically, yes, leaving the, those leaves. It's like the Numenor gonna die or something like that, yes, this prophecy. So basically this queen just, I like this take. And I think they're gonna fail, of course. We know, like... Basically, the Sauron not gonna be destroyed by this owner of this city and this Galadriel, so it's like, uh, but whatever. So basically, uh, it was like, uh, you know, the owner of the city just stops the ship, yes, and just have the dialogue in this fucking, uh, uh, in this fucking room, like, hey, we must help. I'm gonna, you know, basically sell with Galadriel, escort her, yes, to the Middle Earth. It's cool. It's fucking cool. Seriously, it's fucking great. Like, it's gonna be a big battle at the end. This is my prediction. It's gonna be a big fucking battle, uh, <clears throat> basically, with those armies yes, of the city and Sauron army, yes, with the orcs. It's cool. I, I, I hope they're gonna do this. So, basically, <coughs> you know, she just have the dialogue and this right hand of the city. I like this guy. This is. I was thinking he's gonna be snake or whatever, but this is this Cleopatra, his character. Uh, and basically we just saw the shot, like he, he just get released, yes. This uh, Aragorn 2.0, and of course she just stopped this ship, yes, of Galadriel. It was good, like showing the storytelling, like, okay, he, he got released from prison, of course she gonna stop Galadriel and sell him out. And basically we got... Uh, in end of the episode, but basically we got another story yes, with this Isildur guy Basically, he was selling out on the ship and this was his test test there yeah, like yeah You are the captain of the ship. Yes, or whatever so <coughs> He was basically purposely just slip up the road rope you watch the episode Yes, and basically he just get fired and his two friends and They have the dialogue with the sister of course this Isildur Yes, and we got another storytelling. So the time, the sister of Isildur have some screen time. So this is interesting. Uh, I, I think she's gonna die. Yeah, right here, this sister. So they make her a character. It's interesting. So ba basically, this Isildur just have conversation, yes, with those two friends. Like, hey, I was, you know, sacrificed my life and just <coughs> punch him or whatever. Yes, they tr try to fight this Isildur guy, like. Hey, you are my friend. Now I'm just, you know, my life is ruined, whatever. And basically, they have the conversation. Yes, this is do with the sister. Like, hey, you just get fired. And yeah, whatever. And she just get date with this, how to say, son of this right hand guy of this fucking kingdom. So we got new characters. And I don't know, it's balancing out pretty well, like. Yeah, uh, it's not very interesting, okay, but it's, it is what it is. So basically, this sister of this Isildur just meet up this young guy, yes, this fucking son of this guy, yes, who basically just turned the rebel, yes, he was like saying like, hey, 
do you afraid because another guy is just rebel like hey the elves just taken out the city what is going on the elves you know and this guy just came in yes this right hand of this fucking kingdom of this Numenor yes of this Cleopatra just came and just say hey you are afraid of one elf whatever we're just gonna sell her out and he just get bring to everyone it's good so we basically we got the introduction to his son and his son just basically have the conversation with the sister of Isildur yes with this chick you watch the episode so I like like they introduce new, new characters it's interesting a little bit but they are not very interesting in my opinion but it is what it is so basically they have the talk yes like <coughs> I'm gonna help you out cleaning the stuff and they he just take the son of this right hand yes of this Numenor take her to dinner and basically they have conversation yes with Isildur like hey you just dismiss your job hey who is the your guy you know who is the guy who just take you on dinner whatever so it's cool and at the end of the episode Isildur basically just joined the army like hey who gonna sell out with Galadriel on Middle Earth and uh, his friend was like I'm gonna sell out yes because he wanna be the captain his friend basically yes and another friend just you know raise the hand and he basically raised the hand and more guys raise the hands yes so it's interesting I'm assuming uh, his dad is gonna raise the hand too yes uh, like he gonna sell out too so we got another basically stuff of this guy of this elf and I don't think this was Sau Sauron if you watch the episode this was some kind of right hand of Sauron some kind of elf turn evil or whatever basically this or org was dying yes you watch the episode and this creepy guy just came in and i like the face of this guy seriously he got very good design of his face yes <coughs> this elf evil elf just came and just basically saying like hey to the orc just he, he was sad yes and he just killed this orc whatever and he just i like this storytelling seriously it's good storytelling like he just came to this guy and of course we know he not gonna kill him but it's a good storyline like yeah i got message for you you must deliver the message soldier it's good stuff because it's obvious he not gonna kill him it's obvious this guy gonna escape so basically it's good idea to basically yeah i got message you must basically just go and uh, talk the message that i gonna tell you it's good stuff okay it's clever so basically he they just have talk like hey you don't know where is this truth yes this evil elf just talking to him and just ask him where are you from or whatever yes <coughs> and basically he just delivered the message yes and another storytelling yes with this guy basically this Theo guy and I'm assuming he's gonna be evil of course yes this young boy this son of this uh, where is this Penelope Cruz <laughs> with this uh, da, with his mother yes you watch the episode this Theo guy basically uh, I like like they just came to this kind of kingdom yes this kind of wall those people from these villages and my prediction those people in this village gonna basically turn evil they gonna swear to Sauron yes because he basically delivered the message at the end of the episode you watch the episode but previously basically they just came to the town yes to cover yes to escape the orcs or whatever <laughs> with this with his lover yes you watch the episode this I'm gonna call her Penelope Cruz because she looks like Penelope Cruz <laughs> she is pretty so basically she just you know came to the city and they, they just have ah uh, we don't have food or whatever yes so this young boy yes her son just this tail guy just figure out hey we must jump into the you know this city and just came very fast some food and we're gonna have some food and the mother was like no we must hunt for our food or whatever so basically this tail just sneak out with his friend and they just see like dead animals or whatever yes and they just came to this village it's abandoned village and they just have this food yes and this young boy his friend basically just run away yes and this guy just came to the tavern and have fight with the orcs and i was thinking the orcs gonna respect him because he got the sword but no <coughs> he basically fighting with the orcs and he just jumped into this fucking uh not swears but you get the idea the hole with water yes fuck my english he just you know 
was uh, basically staying here because orcs were looking for him he just escaped have some you know fight scene at the end and basically this guy just sell, sell, uh, helped him yes save him it was good scene too like the orc basically he just killed the orc very brutally and i was thinking because the mother basically we just saw like this his friend just came to the kingdom and just say to the, her mother yes previously like hey where is Theo? and he was like i was thinking he's right behind me yes and the mother and I was thinking, the mother gonna save him or this good dude? And this dude just saved him. It's good stuff. Seriously, it's, it's nice. Okay, that, that's fucking great. So basically, they just have cool action scene. And I'm gonna say it right away. It was beautiful music. Okay, and beautiful shots. This shot where basically they just running away in this forest. And he was shooting the orcs, yes, with the bow. It was so beautiful. So basically they were shooting, it was in slow motion. He was just capturing the arrows and just shooting, yes, those orcs. And basically the, the, the mother, yes, of this Theo just came and helped him, this dude, and they just escaped the forest. And it was so beautiful shot. It was so beautiful, come on. We must appreciate good cinematography. Don't be a hater cause hater, I get it, but it, it's beautiful. This is not two, three out of 10, come on. You must appreciate good fucking shots and it was beautiful like they were just standing in the sun and the orcs were in the forest and they just can't basically get to them yes it was so great holy fuck it was good good shot to be honest i like this series more than house of dragon house of dragon is a little bit edgy but at the same time this is more beautiful in my opinion and the storytelling is interesting too you know <coughs> like who gonna die who gonna turn evil it's, it's interesting in my opinion, okay? It's better than House of Dragon, uh, in my opinion. House of Dragon is good too, but it's it's got this kind of edge, yes, to it. But this is more like some kind of fantasy book, standard fantasy, if that makes sense. So basically, they just came to the city, yes, and he just delivered the message like, if your people gonna swear to Sauron or whatever, they're not gonna be attacked by the orcs. And of course they're gonna swear to the fucking bad guy yes i'm assuming and i like them their basically relationship seriously it's 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 nicely done come on like this woman and this elf yes <coughs> we don't have any f half foods in this one so it's great because they are not too interested in my opinion it's interesting this kind of guy who just came from the sky but whatever so basically uh, this elf just delivered the message and we got the scene it was good scene and good dialogue like this Tio guy this Tio son of her yes just have talked with this guy of the tavern and basically he was stolen the sword the Sauron sword yes and he just grabbed him by the hand it was in the fucking trailer the scene like you know who is Sauron or whatever you talk to Sauron it was nicely done and basically okay so basically it's like her son gonna turn evil her son gonna be bad it's great it's fucking great and we got another storytelling and i like those relationship too uh, like this around and this uh, during guy it's good it's fucking great come on it's great basically uh, it was good episode one of the best in my opinion so basically they just have conversation like <laughs> this we we just saw like the of course this evil elf yes who were talking to elrond yes we just saw like they building some stuff some towers to i'm assuming to create the rings of powers yes with this uh <coughs> during guy or whatever this elrond and another elf yes they just have talked like hey durin <coughs> where is durin durin is <coughs> basically hiding yes from elrond and elrond just came to his wife to his wife yes to Durin's wife and just have talk like where is Elrond whatever where is Durin fuck my English fuck this video if you are watching this you are my hero but basically they have the talk yes where is this Elrond this Durin guy this this uh, guy he was hiding basically cause <coughs> <coughs> Elrond just figure out like hey uh, he is hiding yes somewhere and basically right here I like this guy he, he, he is a good actor. He very nicely plays Elrond. So they have conversation like, okay, 
they they are in the le low level mine or whatever yes this doing guy so he just sneak out right here it was beautiful shot store basically he just opened the door and during was like hey you are sneaking out right here your dad just you know sent you or whatever your king sent you to sneaking out and he was like no i am your friend or whatever and he just say i was thinking they're gonna uh, show this artsy crystal like in hobby but no they just basically find the mithril it's good it's good and it's resting come on so basically this during just you know swear and he just swear to his father like he not gonna <coughs> reveal this secret like we just found out mithril and he was like okay whatever you are my friend basically they just came to this and of course we got some accident in the mind like for how to say dwarves just get uh, not killed but basically the the rocks are falling down you watch the episode fuck fuck this video fuck my english in this video but i want to do the recap so basically this uh, durin just came yes and his wife just singing it was a little bit strange and he just came and he was like angry on his dad or whatever and he just say like yeah none of the dwarf just die but the mind is like <coughs> closed and basically it's interesting they don't mind more material it's interesting stuff so everyone just have talk it was good dialogue too like i'm you know i wish i have some dialogue with my father because his dad is dead basically yes he just say save for morgoth or whatever this land so he was like big deal and he just say like hey i wish i have some dialogue with my father and this durin just appreciate this and he just you know i like their relationship with this erwin and this durin guy and his wife it's good he this durin guy just came to the father and basically he apologized and the father was great too i like their relationship too like i am not angry with you i am with you man you are my son blah 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 and uh, he just revealed like Aaron just you know advised to to basically just came to see what is going on with those buildings and this father just what your intuition telling you and he was like yeah i must go okay you go whatever great stuff great storytelling seriously I like this episode, 8 out of 10, it's good, and to be honest, I like the idea, like, and they just have talk, I want to mention this, like, this Tio, son of this Penelope Cruz, just say, like, yes, with this, another bad guy from the village, like, hey, you just saw this star, just came from the stars, and I'm assuming he's gonna be good, this guy gonna be great, he's not gonna be the bad guy, so it's great, seriously, it's fucking great. I don't get it why people hate this i get it like they don't respect the source material but whatever but it's a good time come on i i don't see any better show right now seriously that i am <laughs> watching like i said i like this more than house of dragon it's better than fucking house of dragon so yeah eight out of ten great episode beautiful visuals great uh, relationship great storytelling too the story progression and to be honest i like this idea like this is one big movie so yeah overall great fucking stuff great fucking stuff i forgot some some plot line in this episode i'm sorry but it was great the action scene the music was so beautiful and those scenes right here with the skink yes in this episode that was the shot it was beautiful too everything looks great everything is nice so yeah thank you for watching this strange video and see you on another one. 8 out of 10. It was fucking great. One of the best episodes so far.